This content is not suitable for persons under 13 years of age. These are big reports. New content uploaded. Hello bots and bits fans, welcome back. Yes, I am back. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, especially in Masterpiece scale. Now today we're taking a look at the KO MP44 and comparing it to the Takara original. Now this isn't mine, it's on loan to me from my buddy Ryan. Cheers mate for the loan. So I will be treating this gingerly. <laughs> I will not be paying for this, no way. If I paid $500 for this, I would be furious. First things first though, you might have seen from the glorious intro that I did buy this from longtime channel fans, showzstore.com. They had a pretty good price on this. Considering the way that things are in the world, I got it shipped out to me pretty quick. Took about two and a half weeks, I think, to Australia. Can't really argue with that. Pretty happy. Plenty in stock. They respond to messages pretty quick, so I recommend you go take a look. Now, when you first get this guy and rip open that gloriously beautiful plain brown shipping box. You might be overexcited and want to get playing with this guy straight away, but I highly recommend against that. The most worrying concern I have for you guys unboxing this and getting stuck into it is the ab crunch section. Now, they've changed the tab on the back here. You can do the front and you can get all that up, but this section here won't release. And if you go on the TFW2005 message board there are a whole bunch of people who have tried to brute force it a little bit and not even really brute force it just use a little bit of force just to untab this section in here and they've snapped this swivel bit off and they've just fucked it like it's ruined that's it so one of the problems is consistently this screw is over tightened so we are just going to uh loosen it about a half turn so the tab is connecting on this side, so we're just going to flex this plastic a little bit and just wedge this out. <laughs> effortless. Kidding me. So look, the problem is... <laughs> why am I still doing this? Can I come out? There we go. This tab along here, that's not on the original. So that little latch, that's all that's holding it in there. So it clicks in well, but then doesn't really require too much force to get it undone. Pretty good balance. This one, that tab is massive. What you want to do is file that down a little bit or cut it back with a hobby knife. So I'm going to go the hobby knife option. So at first I shipped myself because I thought I'd just shaved too much of that tab off, but I'd forgotten that I'd loosened the screw. So what I've done is I've just tightened the screw a little bit, given this tab a bit of a trial seeing if it would hold, tightened it a little bit more until I got the tab connectivity how I wanted it, which was firm enough to click in, but not so firm that any of the plastic would flex when untabbing it. Now, obviously, we all expected this. Even though they said they were fixed, we still knew that we were going to be struggling with these bloody knees. Now, shows these stores recommendation is to just grab some snips and cut that tab off and cut that tab off, and then uh, your knees won't break. Doing that, foregoes the second ratchet. It won't work as intended. Now, when I first got this, my upper ratchets wouldn't work either. So the way to use these knees is to hold the front of the knee, hold this back here, and then only move the top ratchet. And I had to force this bit of white plastic inside. You see, it's not quite lined up. It needs to be forced. And then it will go in. Now, this section here is going into the slot as intended and the ratchet doesn't sound too bad right so not quite the carnage that i promised you guys but um <laughs> what, what can i tell you so what is actually a better recommendation we can focus and i've seen a couple of people do this is see the see the l shape of the tab right if you take your snips and you clip the side i'm not going to do it because mine work fine but if you clip the side off and just make that a straight piece just a straight piece. That will go in no worries. It is the stupidest f knee design I've, I think I've ever encountered. So, like Even on the official, so prone to breakage if you didn't do it a specific way. It's like, why? Oh, now that one won't go, what's going on? Why the? 
Oh no! Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break! Bend though, damn it! Bend! Are you gonna go in? No! Oh f hell. So look, I reckon, um... I really don't want to break this. You saw, it was just working. And now... Get in there, you f Nah. <laughs> Not doing it! Alright, f it. Let's cut this off and see how we go. I don't know if this will work. I assume it will. You'll see it as I do. Get in there. Did it. So look guys, that's only two of the major fixes that you should do for this. Um, as soon as you get it out of the box. There is a user on the TFW2005 message board named... That's God Orion. He's written a 36 page PDF, 36 pages, on all the fixes, changes, and repairs that you can do to the KO MP44. If you've already got him, if you've got him coming, if you're thinking about buying him, I highly recommend you give this a flick through. Um, it's, there's a lot of reading, but a lot of it is pretty important. So um, I highly recommend you check that out. It'll save your figure a lot of damage. Insignificant human. Subscribe to this channel immediately. I know this has already taken a little bit. It might have put a damper on the entire review. It gets better. It does get better, right? Trust me, it gets it, it gets better. Um, those were just two things I really wanted you to examine first before playing with this guy. So look, this pair have already been covered quite a bit. You already know that the KO has dead clear eyes and the original has the blue eyes. The frosting on the windows is different. There's no Autobot logo. The, the body isn't painted. This is just uh, red plastic, white plastic, blue plastic. This is all completely painted. So I'm not going to go into huge detail about the, the physical differences. You can tell them apart. You're not going to be tricked into buying a KO. So before we get too in-depth into the KO itself, let's come down here and take a quick look at the accessories. Um, I'm going to start with the Starscream head because I just, I want to point out something. Takara on the right, KO on the left, in case you weren't, in case you were wondering. Uh, the Starscream head, the KO head <laughs> is immaculate. It is absolutely perfect. Those eyes, the paint on the eyes looks great. The paint on the face looks great. The detail is a little bit softer. You see that the nose is a little bit skinnier than the Takara and the paint isn't as like sharp and reflective and the plastic is slightly darker. I do just want to point out that the Takara has black paint here on his little chin piece and he's like got an air bubble in the bottom lip. So that's a oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. So the KO Starscream head is fantastic. It is fantastic quality. And I think we all know what I'm going to do with this straight away. And plonk. The dead eyes carry over into all of the faces. I think it works really well for the damaged head. If you're going to do um, Optimus Prime on his deathbed, uh, those eyes are perfect for that. Some slight differences, obviously the uh, Takara is, has much sharper detail, especially in that mouthpiece. Um, the colors are slightly different, the KO being darker, but apart from that, uh, it seems all right. Now with the KO heads, they all have the neck piece already attached, whereas with Takara, you have this mechanism here that allows the heads to slide on and off so you can replace them easily. With the KO though, because each head has the neck piece, what they want you to do is uh, pop off the ball socket. Now I'm not a huge fan of that, I don't really like putting too much stress on KO plastic as it is, but Especially with these thin ears, it's sort of... Oh, there we go. That was on there. That was tight as... So what you can do is disassemble the head and remove this neck piece, right? Now when the head comes up, there are a lot of pieces inside. So just be, be ready for that when you pull this head apart. Don't want to see? They, they just all sort of starts falling apart if you're not careful. So the face should come straight off the neck piece. It's only held on by this little tab here. So this piece here, right, it's got these tabs on it. Massive, massive tabs. Let's, I'm just gonna try and like, pull this out, there we go. These tabs aren't present on the Takara. So what I'm gonna do is trim these tabs right back. Yeah, 
Now this piece goes back on Prime's neck. Oh, that's tight. Just like that. Now while we have the head disassembled, if you want to paint the eyes, now's the best time. One of the best results I've seen is using a Gundam marker, which is sort of like a paint pen. So let's, um, so there's the eyes. I have um, a bottle of this stuff, which comes out pretty good. I like it. Um, I've already done this head. So this is the KO, this is the Takara. So you can see the color that I've gone for. Um, not as like sky blue as the Takara, but I, I, I like that. I'll just show you how this works now with uh, the animation head, I guess. So now that I've removed the neck piece from the other KO heads, I've just got the one neck piece with the tabs removed. And you just got this one tab in the front, so we're just going to slide him on, give it a push, and there it is. It's it's on there, really, really tightly. It works really well. And to get it off, I'm just going to give it a wiggle and untab it. So a big complaint about the KO heads was that the ears, um, it's very thin plastic, and it's warped, right? They're bent, which sucks. But the Takara ears are pretty much bent the same, if not a little bit more, than the KO. I'm not impressed either way. So that's the heads done. Now, some of the other accessories, let's just zoom out a bit. Um, one thing that I thought was weird, we have the damaged um, abdomen piece, right? KO, Takara. The Takara obviously looks way more premium. It's painted red. The details inside, uh, even though it's just a wash, it's done much better than the KO. It definitely looks better. And um, one thing I noticed on the KO is I've got a stress mark right there, like, are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, the memory of this piece is quite stressful. But a stress mark there, of all places. Uh, very strange. Uh, we'll just quickly have a look. We've got the Starscream vents. They are exactly the same, except this car is painted and looks more premium. Then we have these stupid jetpacks from that episode. Takara looks way more premium with the bright red. It's coming out slightly orange on my camera. I don't know why. No stress marks. Oh, actually, there's one. There's one right there. <laughs> and it goes on nice and tight. Holds there well. Not that I, It just emphasizes the backpack. I won't be using this. Then we have his blaster. Now the KO on the top. It's just unpainted grey plastic. It's got a slight metallicness to it. Not much, whereas the Takara looks like it's a metallic plastic with a gunmetal paint and a slightly different uh, silver paint there. Now, for some reason on the KO, they significantly changed the tab in the gun. So this is the KO here. It's a thinner, longer tab. Thankfully, his fingers hold it tight enough that he doesn't drop it and it's not really too loose, but the tab doesn't contribute whatsoever. He can't hold the Takara either. The other accessories we have are the light effects and battle axe. <laughs> I don't care about these. Um, the battle axe is slightly less transparent than the Takara. Uh, the KO is a better looking orange. Um, yeah, I don't care. These are cool though. The blast effects. Now the KO ones have LEDs in them, which when you do this, they do that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's a sealed unit, so I don't know how you would replace those batteries when they eventually die, but um, while they live, that looks cool. This section will plug into the end of his blaster, which looks pretty cool. It will not plug into the Takara. I mean, it goes in a little bit. I suppose you could file that down a bit if you really wanted to, but then it wouldn't stick into the KO ever again. They also plug into his jetpack, albeit a little bit um, loosely, and you can turn them on and off while leaving them tabbed in. Unfortunately, they don't fit uh, in the Takara jetpack. So articulation-wise, they're mostly the same, although the KO does seem to have um, stronger joints overall compared to the Takara. So we have a ratcheted up here, and as you can see, they're wildly different. You can't even really hear that the Takara is a ratchet, and it feels quite soft, whereas the KO, very healthy sounding ratchet. Friction at the shoulder as well is both very nice. Upper bicep swivel, about the same. <coughs> Friction joint on the Takara, which is nice and strong. Now, for some reason, uh, I've, I have no idea why, they've added a really strong ratchet here, and it's one of the best ratchets on the whole figure. Listen to this. Excellent ratchet. What it's doing there, I have no idea. Wrist swivel on the KO is unbelievably tight. I'd highly recommend lubing that with something. The Takara is also quite tight. The fingers are nice and tight as well, although prone to stress marks. Pretty nasty one, in fact. When it comes to the waist on the official, uh, it's a little bit shit. It's a little bit shit. It is very loose, uh, very floppy. Doesn't untab. 
which is good. It doesn't feel very premium. On the KO, it's much stiffer, maybe from the joint just being a little bit tighter than it's meant to be. I think it's actually got a little bit of extra plastic in it because you'll see that they don't quite sit the same. The Takara sits in much deeper here and this is a little bit raised and there's not really much you can do about that. Even without it untabbed, you do get a little bit of a wiggle there and you don't, it's just, it's more looseness on the Takara. So when it comes down to the legs, uh, I'm not happy with either of them, but I'm mostly disappointed in the Takara because this thing is f***ing expensive and these joints, they're just, they're not well done. Well, not on this one anyway. This Takara is practically brand new. It's been transformed twice and these legs are just really, really floppy and those hip ratchets are just they're almost useless, right? And the legs, they spread whenever you put them down. The forward and back on the Takara hips aren't really that great. The outward motion isn't really that great either. Whereas on the KO, we do have a little bit of play in the, in the ratchet on one leg. But the legs are like, well, the, the heel's not. The legs are solid, right? There's no, there's no like springiness in them when you put them down. He's not spreading any further than how you've set them. But the ratchets themselves are quite strong, although they do sound a little bit soft. We have an upper thigh swivel, which is nice and tight on both of them. And then you have the outward spread as well, which is great. Super strong, super strong. I am digging that. Now we've already covered the knees in that fix, so I'm not gonna go too much into them. As you can see, in the shins, we've got a lot of this separation. I'll cover that in a second. And then the last joint we have is the feet, which, they, you know, the ratchet sounds great. It's got a nice stiff tilt on it. All right, so when it comes to these tabs on the legs, they're not good, like, um, and that's consistent over pretty much everybody's. They do not, this section doesn't tab in properly on both sides. And then you have this tab uh, in here. I'm not sure if the tab is too big, and it's being pushed out, or if it's too small and it's not catching. With removing the paint, none of this is toleranced really well, whereas on the Takara, um, this this whole shin section is probably one of the few compliments I'd give the official. Like, once it's all put together, this mess um, actually, for, from here down, works, right? It just, it clicks in perfectly, whereas the KO company, they haven't really been able to manage all of this mess. Uh, before I forget, we better do a um, audio comparison now. I'll get the microphone in much closer, so we can get um, so we can get a more accurate comparison of the audio chips. So Takara, I am Optimus Prime. Ko. Yeah. So the Ko sounds like trash. Um, the voice clip, the clips are just. Uh, Like, uh, they got the music in them and they cut off too early and... Autobots, transform and roll out. Yeah, yeah the, the voice chip in this is terrible. Alright, so I think we've covered um, pretty much most of the shit show that is uh, MP44 in bot mode. I'm not going to show the transformation, it's just going to waste too much time. Most people already know it anyway. Um, I can link you to some resources if you need help going through the steps below. Alright? Alright. All right, there they are in vehicle mode, and please, God, don't make me go through that again. That was torture. I'm not a fan of this transformation. Anyway, um, the Takara, that paint job just looks fantastic. Fantastic. I love the gloss paint for the vehicle mode. But robot mode, I'm um, not too fussed. Vehicle mode, that's a must, because the KO just, um, it doesn't look great in that matte plastic. Um, I'm going to say it looks pretty bad, actually. Now, when transforming the KO, I did have a few, uh, well, a few, I had uh, a number of tolerance issues. Um, this, the window section is not, there's nothing I can do about that. It's not collapsing all the way. The Takara is flush as, um, looks, it's a terrible mechanic, but the Takara made it work. Um, the KO, it's just, it's not doing it for me. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, the other issue I'm having, which I think most people are having, let's just get rid of that is this tab here. It's problematic on the Takara as well. It just keeps popping out. But on this one, it just doesn't even want to kiss it. 
it's it's not good and i think it's because it's missing that layer of paint it doesn't have as much grip maybe i've done something wrong i don't think i have but uh, it's a possibility it's like 90 percent going there but it's just because this was already such a problematic transformation and needs everything to be a hundred percent uh 90 percent uh isn't it's not working it's n it's not working for me not that I think many of you people are buying this for the vehicle mode anyway, but it's just, it's, it's another negative for the KO, I'm afraid. All right, guys, so final thoughts. Is it worth it and should you buy it? Now, there are a lot of you who have already bought it or are planning to buy it, and you still will. You're still going to, because in bot mode, if you just fix that ab crunch and paint the eyes, and what is it, 100 bucks? You're probably going to be happy with that. Uh, you pose him once or twice, stick him on your shelf with your other characters. He's going to look good but I can't recommend it to you. There's just so many issues. They don't destroy it. They don't take the fun away from it, but it's still a lot of issues and I've ragged on other KOs for less. The KO not only shares a lot of the Takara problems, but it exacerbates them. It's a real shame because a lot of people did get their hopes up that this would be the improved perfection, sort of like a yes model situation, but I'm afraid that's not the case. Now, the company that made this have said that they're aware of the issues, they're not sending out any replacement parts or anything. The only issue they've said so far that will be addressed is the knees. Time will tell whether they fix the other issues that are present in it or not, but currently, this first batch KO MP44 from Wen, Wen Ziyang or whoever it was, um, I can't recommend it. And that's it. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe to my channel. Be able to check out my website for all your bots and bits news. I have all my new videos. I have all my new merch. I have all my socials and Instagram and blah, 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 all that sort of stuff on there. So check it out if you have some time. So thank you very much for your time and cheers for watching.